In this video, you'll discover whether or not high cholesterol actually causes heart disease. Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Zorowski and welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new to the channel, as always, it's a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and join our notification community so I can help you excel your health and your life. In this video, we're going to discuss high cholesterol and heart disease. This is a confusing topic for a lot of people and I know this because we get a lot of questions on it. Many people believe that high cholesterol is going to cause heart disease and early death and many people believe that that is an absolute myth. So what we're going to do is go through this video, we're going to kind of debunk this whole high cholesterol, heart disease issue and at the end of the video what I'll do is I'll tell you what the top cardiovascular experts today are saying are the real cause of heart disease and early death so stick around to the end let's dive in now when we look at cholesterol in general it's absolute insanity to think that cholesterol is some evil thing to the body because it's absolutely critical and it's an essential molecule for many functions in the body it's necessary for a lot of hormones like vitamin D steroid hormones sex hormones if you want to have optimal levels of hormones like estrogen progesterone testosterone you need the cholesterol and it's also absolutely necessary for neurological health a lot of people um, who go in they start taking these different statins to lower their cholesterol to also notice a decline in their brain function their focus their memory because essentially when you start dropping that cholesterol low the nervous system the brain struggles so that's something to take into consideration especially when we look at elderly who in many cases already may be struggling with issues of neurological decline and, and problems with memory things such as Alzheimer's and then you take and you take that cholesterol and drop it down it can be very devastating for them and so let's look at this myth, misinformation of high cholesterol causing heart disease where did it come from there's a couple of landmark studies that have been done in the past that this information really came from and justifies the, you know where we're at today with this whole thing so there was a lipid hypothesis by Ansel Keys. Now this was basically going in and saying that um, high cholesterol causes heart disease. He went out around to many different countries and at those different countries this is what he found. Now he was criticized highly by his peers because basically he had a narrative that he wanted to fulfill. That narrative was that high cholesterol causes heart disease. So what he did is he focused on the countries where this tended to correlate but he took all the different information that he had from the other countries out of the study. And so basically like I said his peers um, criticized him highly for it and this is why it has remained as the lipid hypothesis the bad part is is that much of what he had said has become truth today when it comes to you know how high cholesterol is dealt with and so this is really where it all started along with the Framingham heart study now this study is pretty interesting because it's the same thing. They're basically saying high cholesterol causes heart disease, but they found a couple other interesting things out in the video, in, in the study. And what they had found is that, first of all, that regardless of the dietary cholesterol, your serum cholesterol remained pretty much level. So it had a pretty much insignificant impact because we're told all the time that if you eat saturated fats, that you're going to increase your cholesterol and cause heart disease. Well, in this study, regardless of how flawed it was, they did find that that really didn't matter that much. Now when we look at the Framingham study, basically one of the um, doctors involved with it uh, by the name of George, he basically went and said that this was the greatest scam ever perpetrated on the American public because it was another study that was used to justify all the cholesterol medication based on their findings. And so it was a flawed study, lots of problems, but either way, this is where a lot of the truth that we believe today on cholesterol has come from, once again. Another little interesting fact here, 50% of people hospitalized with heart attacks have normal cholesterol and about 50% with high cholesterol have heart, healthy hearts, okay? So we're just seeing these facts just don't add up. If you want to believe in, the, in, in these studies that say high cholesterol causes heart disease, it consistently doesn't add up again and again. Let's talk about some of these different debunking studies. Now first there was the Lion Diet Heart Study, which was also an incredible study that debunked that high cholesterol causes heart disease. They basically took a whole bunch of people, put them on the Mediterranean diet, and they found that the deaths reduced by 70%, the cardiovascular deaths were decreased by 76%. Now the interesting thing about this whole study is that cholesterol didn't budge, okay? So if we want to believe the narrative that high cholesterol causes heart disease, what we should have seen is that well, with this study, their cholesterol dropped really low and all of a sudden people lived longer, but they didn't. The cholesterol remained the same, but they were healthier individuals because they were following a healthy diet 
probably because they decrease inflammation and oxidation and a few other things that are very important for heart health. Now, the next study that was also a really big one was the Nurses Health Study, and this was done by Harvard University. They took 120,000 females, and what they found is there's five factors, five factors that are absolutely critical if you want to have good heart health. First of all, you want to keep your BMI under 25, and I think these are good factors. You want to not smoke, seems pretty obvious. You want to exercise daily, moderate to uh, rigorous exercise for 30 minutes. Eat low sugar and high omega-3s, so making sure that you're eating a low sugar diet, getting lots of healthy fats. And then also drink alcohol in moderation, which seems like a pretty good rules to live by. Now, is this a scam, this whole high cholesterol and heart disease? Is it because, you know, there's a couple studies that weren't very good, that were very flawed, that, you know, most of the information is based on when we talk about high cholesterol and heart disease. And then there's a tons of studies that debunk it, but yet still in traditional healthcare, it is, um, they've determined that high cholesterol causes heart disease. So is it a scam? Well, first of all, when we look at the um, medications for cholesterol, this is a $30 billion plus industry a year okay the next thing is very interesting is the uh, national cholesterol education program lowered the optimal levels back in 2004 so this is always interesting when they do this because they've done it with many different other conditions you know whether it's high blood pressure or whether it's um, you know blood sugar levels they'll go and they'll lower them overnight and what happens is they create a multi-billion dollar industry overnight because all of a sudden everybody needs to be on these different prescriptions. So the um, they did this in 2004. Here's the thing that was very um, you know deceptive to the people and in, in, in you know uh, I think wrong in a lot of ways. Eight of the nine panel members had financial ties to the cholesterol pharmaceutical industry. So anyway I think that that's you know really bad stuff and when we look at high cholesterol and heart disease it's been debunked many many times so I don't want people who especially follow my channel to get hung up up on it. Now when we look at the major factors that cardiovascular experts say today are the determining factors whether or not you have heart disease. First of all, it's um, a high sugar diet, so we want to make sure we're eating a low sugar diet. Um, also, if you have a lot of inflammation, and so we want to make sure that we're deep focusing on decreasing inflammation because it causes oxidation in the body. It causes a lot of different um, oxidative stress in the cardiovascular system. So basically what is happening, if you have a lot of inflammation in your cardiovascular system, you will cause oxidation of that cholesterol in the arteries and there is where you're coming up with your problems. Okay, So it really comes back to inflammation. So we want to make sure that we're reducing stress because that was a major factor. Stress low sugar diet and we also want to make sure that we're decreasing inflammation throughout the whole body because it decreases inflammation in the cardiovascular system decreasing the risk of cardiovascular disease greatly so be sure to share this video with your friends give this video a thumbs up and also if you have any questions put it in the comment section here down below and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet and be sure to check out my other videos on how you can improve your health i'll see you in the next video